What's going on, everyone? Here we are, week four. NFL storylines. What were the biggest storylines to create content about in the NFL? So if you actually follow this channel in this season, what we're trying to do is come up with every single week storylines. Like, what are the biggest storylines where people are going to be creating content over, whether that's going to be game-related content, team-related content, stories, social media posts. We want to analyze what is the content going to be created about. So let's go with the five biggest storylines in no particular order. And we'll start off with, of course, Taylor Swift and uh, Travis Kelsey. Everyone and their mother, literally, and sister and daughters are talking about Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift. Arguably the biggest celebrity in all the United States right now, Taylor Swift. Seems like she's dating Travis Kelsey. Of course, nothing public. So you're going to see a lot of posts especially throughout the week on her on Sunday Night Football, maybe interviews with her, maybe celebrations. We don't really know. We already saw that Sunday Night Football even used her music in the promo. So in general, we're going to see Taylor Swift in your face over and over and over again. And it's a good marketing for the NFL and NFL pages. You get another type of person in woman and in general you're going to see a lot of content being created about that the second one is the nfl toy story game if you missed that at the london game they had a toy story alternative broadcast it, it was fantastic they actually literally had like the guys you can see it on our instagram at the sports on tap between Toy Story and the NFL. Really, really cool animation. And it made me wonder, and this is what content is gonna be created about. You're gonna see a lot of clips, obviously, but you're gonna hear a lot of people talking about what's next. And Disney, their whole entire catalog is available to be used like this. So you got Toy Story, you got Star Wars, you got Mickey Mouse broadcast. I don't know exactly what route they're going to go to, but there's so many different routes that NFL could go to, and this is going to be really exciting for NFL fans. The third one is the Bills Masterclass. Uh, everyone all week was tooting the horns of the, the Miami Dolphins, including myself, and the Bills <laughs> thrashed them. It was, it was a masterclass, for lack of a better word, by the Buffalo Bills, and I think we're going to see a lot of people creating content around, are the Bills the best team in the NFL, were the Miami Dolphins overrated, you're going to see a lot of Bills hype, you're going to see YouTube channels posting about the Bills, you're going to see people like Colin Cowherd or Bill Simmons or other you know, high-end podcasts slash TV shows and opinion shows open up with the Bills. You can see Stephen A. Smith already screaming now and pounding the table. The Bills are the best team in the NFL. You can see it happening now. You're going to see a lot of Bills content being created. Next is the Bengals. The Bengals trash. Uh, plain and simple. People are going to be asking. People are going to be wondering. People are going to be discussing what is wrong with the Cincinnati Bengals. Why are they not able to look any good so far. I know they have a win, but they're now one in three, and their offense looks absolutely terrible. They can't move the ball. Jamar Chase um, said he's always open after the game. Seems like there's a little bit of problems here between the offense, and this team looks like they're just having a season from hell. And I know a lot of people are going to be talking about, and I said this last week, did Joe Burrow get paid too early? I wasn't saying that, but I was saying this content's going to be created around that. And I don't think he did. The calf injury is probably a bigger problem than him getting paid too early. But the Bengals, they're on my screen right now, are an absolute disaster. And the last but not least, 4-0 teams, 49ers and Eagles. People are going to be talking about the class of the NFC. You know, before this season, so many people, most people had the 49ers and Eagles as the best team in the NFC. And lo and behold, here they are. They look like the two best teams in the NFC, which is great for them and their fan bases. I'm a Seahawks fan. Hate to see the 49ers doing so well, but they look like one of the best teams in football, not just the NFC, and so do the Eagles. And you're going to be seeing a lot of content created around that. So if you think, uh, think sometimes we look, content creation, I'm not even going to edit that out. Sometimes... You know, if you think there's other storylines, please drop a comment for me. I want to see what storylines you think is going to be created. What are the biggest storylines? And that's basically the top five storylines in the NFL this week that content is going to be created around. So enjoy that and you'll see us next time.